Item number, SCP-3213. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3213 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell on floor 20 of Site-88. Under no circumstances is SCP-3213 to be allowed unsupervised interaction with any member of any pinniped species. Pinniped families include, but are not limited to, walruses, seals, and sea lions. Testing of SCP-3213's effects is to take place in the aquatic facilities on floor 21 of Site-88. Description SCP-3213 is a 44-year-old human male named Carl Prosser. When SCP-3213 is in the direct line of sight of any member of any pinniped species, the animal will become sapient and capable of vocalization. SCP-3213-affected animals will then utilize this capability to direct verbal abuse towards SCP-3213. Affected animals appear to possess individual personalities and behaviors, though all share a common dislike of SCP-3213. Affected animals either do not comprehend or do not care to respond to any verbal requests from individuals who are not SCP-3213. Repeated interactions between SCP-3213 and affected animals has yielded no verifiable information relating to the cause of the anomaly. When in the presence of pinnipeds, SCP-3213 is under constant danger of physical attack. Affected animals will attempt to inflict as much physical pain as possible on SCP-3213, although multiple tests in controlled settings have revealed that these attacks will cease if SCP-3213's life is in danger. All attacking animals will continue to direct verbal abuse towards SCP-3213 until removed from SCP-3213's presence. SCP-3213 affected animals do not appear to retain their sapience or ability to vocalize once out of direct line of sight of SCP-3213. Examinations of live, actively affected specimens has been unsuccessful due to their aggression. SCP-3213 has, however, been cooperative in continued testing of the anomaly. Test number three. Purpose. Visual demonstration of described anomaly. Date. 10 3017 Method. SCP-3213 was given a video camera and told to enter a room with a tank housing two adult earless seals. Results. A video file demonstrating the anomaly was created. It can be viewed now. Ugh. Go to hell, Carl. Seriously. Walk away, Carl. The relatively docile nature of the interaction is believed to have been an attempt to make SCP-3213 feel safe. Two separate attempts were made to physically drag SCP-3213 into the water six seconds after the end of this video excerpt. Test 5. Purpose. Attempts by Dr. Paul Clifford to communicate with affected animals while SCP-3213 was present. Date. 11-08-17. SCP-3213 directed to enter a room with a tank housing two adult earless seals. Dr. Clifford was already present. Interaction Log Seal number one. Uh, go fuck yourself, Carl. Seal number two. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Long and hard, you fucking bastard. Dr. Clifford. Excuse me, can you understand me? Seal two. Carl, how's it feel to know that even though you're going bald, you'll never get any uglier? Dr. Clifford. Can you hear me? Seal 1. What's the matter, Carl? Too much of a pussy to answer us? Test 16. Purpose. Attempts to glean more of the reason for the anomaly's existence. Date. 1-24-18. Method. SCP-3213 directed to enter a room with a tank housing two adult earless seals and to inquire as to the reason behind the anomalous behavior. Interaction Log. Seal 1. Should have figured you'd come back. Bet you like the taste of shit. SCP-3213. What did I do to make you so mad at me? Seal 2. Oh, -ho, this piece of shit wants to know what he did. Seal 1. You fucking know what you did, Carl. SCP-3213. I, I never know what you're talking about. Seal 2. You're a fucking asshole. And we fucking remember, because we saw you do that shit, Carl. Seal 1. You got all these people fooled. You thought just because it was dark and raining on the beach, no one was going to see what you did? SCP-3213. Jesus fucking Christ. Seal 2. Coming back to you now, ain't it, asshole? Yeah, why don't you jump in here and I'll give you a taste of how it felt. Seal 1. But don't worry, we won't kill you. Promise. SCP-3213. Why? 
Seal 2. Because then we can't hurt you anymore, Carl. Following this incident, SCP-3213 refused to elaborate on the incident described by the affected animals. It is also unknown why all members of pinniped species are aware of the triggering incident. Investigation into SCP-3213's past has turned up nothing matching the described details. SCP-3213 testing is currently suspended, and daily interviews are scheduled to determine what events caused the anomaly.